Hello, my name is Gaurav Khurana and I'm, you know, I'm covering that Azure DevOps series and today I'll be covering a topic for which so many people have asked me and finally, like I reached that stage, like I was covering the various videos so that I reached this stage where I should cover this and it becomes more relevant. So the topic is how you can update the Azure DevOps test cases because when you run the pipeline in the pipeline, you see, let's say 10 test cases were there and 10 test scripts were passed, but those 10 test scripts are created in ADO as well, Azure DevOps, right? So if somebody see the dashboard, they have to go to the build pipeline and check it out that what is a failure and what is it, right? But they cannot see on the particular sprint or the dashboard that how many are passed or failed, those test cases should be updated, right? So I have covered a previously a video where I have shown that how you can call the patch API, Right, but it's a little tricky. Today I'll be share an easy trick, a very good utility, uh, which can help you in doing that. In this video, I'll talk just about the utility. In the next video, we'll see that how you can do that in pipeline. So let's begin. So if you're coming first time to my channel, you can subscribe to it and feel free to comment that how is it going and if anything specific you want me to cover in the Azure DevOps series. Okay, so today I'll be, let me tell you the problem statement once again. So how the hierarchy is, there are test cases and each test case can be present in multiple test suits, right? You can create a test case for a story. Later on, it will go in the regression pack as well. It will be in the particular sprint in that suit. Right. So for example, these are the various cases. Now, if you want to bulk update it, you can directly click and make it pass. It will be passed. Right. But in the real time project, that will not happen. Right. All of the cases you might not be doing it. Maybe somebody else is doing something. Right. So you have to be careful while updating. Right. And also how you can do it. The main problem is linking it via uh, automation that will cover in the next one. But let me show you a utility which can bulk update all of this, right? So what it needs is I have prepared some, let me show you that how you have to do that. So first of all, you have to install that utility. The command is .NET tool install minus G syncer. So I'll share the link of this GitHub page where it is. It is a utility by a Microsoft employee, right? And I've been using it for a long time and it's very, very simple. You just have to give a command and it does the thing, right? So you can go to this page, right? .NET CLI and you can install this. If on giving the .NET command, like on command prompt, you can type .NET. So if you have already .NET installed, you will see something like this. If not, you can install .NET, right? And after that, you can give this command .NET tool install minus G syncer. So what it will do is .NET will install this utility called as syncer. Okay, now how to use that utility? This, is, this page is very helpful. I am just uh, making it even simple for you. So you can give the command sinker minus minus help. Okay. And it will show you how to use this utility and it's very simple. So what you have to do is let me open. It takes three kinds of input. One is JSON. Another is TRX file, or you can prepare an Excel sheet. So I'll give you an example via an Excel sheet. So this is an Excel sheet that uh, you will have to prepare, right? You can prepare a JSON as well, right? Because mostly people prefer JSON instead of Excel, right? So you can mention the test case ID. So this can be useful while you are testing as well, right? Suppose I'm testing six to seven cases. I can mention the IDs of those cases here, right? And what is the status of them? And I can mention the test suit ID. So what is this? If you are not familiar with the Azure DevOps, it's like, for example, these are the test case IDs that I have written. Okay, and this is the suit ID. As I told you, a test case can belong to multiple suits. For example, this verify user is able to search for dresses. If I go in this suit, which is a case of test plan. So the hierarchy is test plan, suit ID, and then test cases. So test cases can be linked to multiple test plans or multiple test suits as well. So if you see this verify user is able to search for dresses, it is available here as well. 
this i have talked in my previous test suit related uh, videos as well so here you see it is marked as active in this one it is failed right in this one it is having a pass status right so now uh, let me update all of them back to active you can just right click and reset test to active so all of them have become not run okay and i have prepared an excel sheet where i have put these test case ids and what is the suit id okay so suit id and test suit id you can get it from the url and the test case id is this 522 and all of this right so here we see let, let's follow this what they have told so what give the sinker command minus f minus f stands for file that what is the file so my file name is test results dot yeah this test results sinker dot xlxx right and what is my account so minus a it's these are the required field one two three and four four fields are required okay so what i will do is i will go to here and this is my account account is organization okay it's mentioned here that azure devops account or organization so i will paste that Apart from that, what you need is you need the project. Either you can mention minus minus project or minus P. So I'm mentioning minus P. My project name is automation. Okay, why we are needing this? Because you are passing an Excel sheet, right? There are so many DevOps projects that are going on. How it how the utility will know which one it has to contact, right? And at the same time, you have to give a token, right? So that you can authenticate because like it's not that anybody can come inside the system and update it, right? So this token, where you can get the token is, you can click on here in one of the previous videos of API also I have explained. You can click on this new token, name it a particular name. For example, I have given token to update test plan, something like this, token to update results, okay? And you can just give this permission and you can increase the time. Like if you want to give for more than 30 days, you can increase it. Like if you have a long going project, and you have to copy this and save it somewhere because you will not see again, okay? I am copying it and I will paste it here. Okay, I'll change it after this video. Now I am running this command. So what we did is we prepare an Excel sheet. Okay, it is telling that it is already open. So I will close it now because it cannot use it. Okay, I have saved the changes and I have closed it. Now let me run the command and we'll see that whether it is failing the six cases, marking them failed and other as passed. Okay, it ran successfully. This time no error was given. So this is the file where we have given some cases as passed, some cases are failed. We have given the test case ID and suit ID and I will close this file. After closing this file, we will run the command where we'll pass the file name minus F with the file name and the organization, which is written here and the project name and the personal access token, right? And we'll press enter after this. And we'll see that whether these gets updated, whichever we have given, right? So let me refresh this page, right? If you see that uh, four of them are fa failed and few are passed as we have given in the Excel sheet, right? Now let me show you that what is the other way. So the other way is this, where you can give it as a JSON file. This is this would be useful in the next video for automation, where you can uh, you can prepare it, prepare this file, like as your test suit get runs, right? You can grab this test case ID. We'll tell that how you can grab that and you can, prepare something like this 522 and 23 these are the test case ids okay or you can even give the test suit ids uh, here which is explained on that page also right so you can even give something like this so let me give this as well right so for example i want that particular suit id to be updated right i don't want everything to be updated so taking this in our test uh, here, so 522 and 23, these are the three test case IDs. And I want suit ID 31 to be updated. Okay, so I'll create a file like this with the name results.json. Okay, and we'll run the same way. 
it's just that we will change the file which was excel earlier right you can even give xls also it supports results.json and i'll run it so we have seen that you can use json file trx i have not shown and or you can put xls file the format for json file is uh, this right i have just closed it let me reopen so this is the file where you can pass the test case ids and the results failed or passed right and you can mention suit ids at this level so that otherwise if you don't mention suit id it will update everywhere right you might not want to fail a test case which is present in previous release so passing a suit id is very important right so it ran successfully let's see whether it has updated or not let me refresh this page okay it has updated two failed and one passed okay and you can just run sinker minus help to see what all the various options that are there we use these three and one this four right you can if you have not passed the test suit id inside the excel or the json file you can pass it outside as well right and you can take help and help by typing this help and know the version right whatever and here also he has explained in very detail so nagarjuna is the microsoft employee who has created this utility right so you can follow him and start this project test results sinker right or mention some feature request as well but this is really good and in the next video i can tell you that how we can uh, include this in the ci cd pipeline i have been using it and it's awesome so hope you like it and in case you face any challenge using this utility download it use it and then we'll put it in the pipeline as well uh, thank you for watching hope this will be very very useful for anyone because it is very useful for me and in various projects i have worked on thank you